Hello, my name is Igor Posovets and I would like to welcome you to our next video tutorial about easy and efficient skinning of a whole character in Autodesk 3D Studio Max with Bones Pro. We have here in front of us a 3D character made for the impressive CG cinematics of the game Perry Rodan. The character name was Igasha, it is a long latex dressed body, actually a very difficult task for skinning because of all those round forms and seamless blends between the different body parts. There are no belts or shirt where we can cut the mesh in two and skin it part by part. Now to design this video a bit more funny, we will skin the model in two ways, using the standard max skin and few minutes later using Bones Pro. This will illustrate not only the differences in the setup time, but also the important quality issues. I will add skin modifier to character and assign all bones in the scene suite. Now I will switch to the animation mode and bang. This is what we get normally when we start using skin. Not only it looks ugly, it is also completely wrong. Almost a half of all body vertices has a totally wrong assignments, despite the fact we are using a camel tool like Character Studio. It seems Max skin modifier is each time surprised by the bone setup, even by those custom integrated solutions in the 3D Studio Max. Let us try to repair it, using envelopes. Those envelopes should be a great help, but their controls tend to make sometimes more damage. On some areas, like on the back and around the pelvis, any try to repair this mess is hopeless. We will stop now here and go directly to Bones Pro. The first step is the same as by skin. Select a character. Add Bones Pro on the top of it, we will leave in this case skin in the stack since Bones Pro will override it and assign again all bones in the scene to it, just like by skin. In order not to falsificate this documentary, I will repeat exactly the same steps like I did by skin. I will prompt jump to the animation mode. What we see now is a skin model, not perfectly at the moment, but at least no Batman with wings hanging on the upper arm like on our skin model. Bones Pro has perfectly recognized the influences of the bones on the mesh and eliminated conflict areas. It is at the moment too elastic, but it is just a minute of work to impregnate the skin and make it firm and tight. To do this, I will choose a frame where the deformations are clearly visible and pick in the Bones Pro interface the bone selector. The rest of the work is fun. No obscure envelopes and dozen parameters, just slider controlling influence and strength that bone exerts on the skin. Legs are long and thin, so the values around 30% works at best. A bit bigger boots can have about 50%. Pelvis is affecting too much. I've reduced the value to about 80% and the upper spine parts to 50% since they tend to grasp around and affect the arms too much. Arms are again long and thin, so the values around 30% are best and you can see slowly how our model skin turns into right place. At last, the head's influence is too wide, I will cut it down to 20%, but raise the neck bone influence so that the neck later moves the collar and not the skull bone. And now, the last check in the solid visualization mode. Some of the spine bones affect too much, so I will tune it a bit down and play in the animation again. Our model Igasha is now moving very smooth and the skin is elastic but not overstretched. One thing I find disturbing here is the area between the legs and the legs themselves. It seems that in an upper part one bone has impact on the other side and opposite. 
the tide gets stretched inward and this is wrong. To correct this, I will change to the vertex mode in Bones Pro interface. This will give me the option to exclude a certain part of the mesh from the selected bone. I will select two vertices now, make a loop selection from it and expand it until all vertices on the leg are highlighted. Now I need a bone to exclude all those vertices from. This is the opposite bone and all the child bones. You can see it here as a red mark. Back to our vertex selection, I need to press exclude button and the whole left leg is from now on not more affected by the right leg bones. We still have to do the other side. To simplify the process, we will simply mirror the settings from the one leg to the other. All I need to do now is to select all bones of the leg I want to adopt the values. In this case, our right leg should get the same values as the left leg and I will select all bones of the right leg. I will now activate the mirror tool in Bones Pro. You see prompted the mirror plane in the viewport. Don't get irritated by its position or rotation since it always moves with the pivot point of the root bone. The mirror tool automatically finds all opposite bones on the other side of the mirror plane. You can clearly see the recognized mirror bones by the orange box around them. This indicates that they are able to copy or paste values from the opposite side. I will now press the mirror button, the vertices shrug a bit and the work is done. Both legs vertices are now excluded in the same way from the opposite bones. Just like by legs, we will repeat this action by the arms. Big spine bones grasped often around much more than we would like it, so we will brute force exclude the arms from the rest of the body. At the end, there is still the back side of the model to be fixed. In the last video training tutorial, we have learned about metabones. Here is a perfect place to engage them. I will place now two big metabones inside this problem area. We have to imagine those metabones as a huge invisible balloons repulsing back all geometry around them. They will in this case blow up the back when it gets unnaturally thin and stretched. I will link them now to their control bone, the pelvis, and activate it.
With the hide button, you can easily hide them in order to have a better preview. Now, at the end, just for our fun, we will switch back to our base model done with 3D Studio Max skin modifier. This devastated picture should always remind us of how our model could have looked like if we were still playing around with standard skin modifier and its envelopes. <laughs>